Um, oxygen atoms, normally if you've given a choice with a lot of other um, elements to choose from, they're not going to bond to each other, except for in the case of oxygen and ozone, which obviously they have to bound to each other because they're the only thing there, or special molecules called superoxides and peroxides, and we won't deal with those in this class. Um, and then also one other rule of thumb here, polyatomic molecules and ions often consist of a central atom, which is normally listed first in the chemical formula. That helps us get started if we know that bit of information, guessing what's in the middle with an educated guess. Okay, and also another little educated guess is there's a lot of times there's symmetry in a Lewis structure. Okay, and we'll see what that means as we move on. All right, and then the last uh, rule of thumb before you get started is this little rule right here, which we call the S equals N minus A rule. And I don't think on the video you're going to be able to read these words. So you're going to have to be looking at your um, printed out notes to follow what I'm saying here. But the S equals N minus A rule is um, where S is the total number of shared electrons in the molecule, N is the total number of valence um, shell electrons needed by all the atoms in the molecule or ion to achieve the noble gas configuration, and A is actually the number of avail available electrons, uh, valence electrons in that particular um, uh, element. So we'll, we'll, we'll practice this. All right, so the best thing we can do is just practice and then you can refer to the rules as we go.